Hi everybody, this is Plug Spinner, and today we're going to be picking and gutting this Laidlaw Euro Cylinder. I have actually never heard of this brand before, but I came across it on eBay the other day and thought I would check it out. As you can see, there is a pretty tight keyway here, but if you notice, the key pin comes down almost all the way past that warding. So what that tells you is if you have a pick with a high enough reach, you can kind of sneak up that key chamber without having to deal with the warding too much, which is uh, exactly what we're gonna do today. Um, I have picked it a couple times, I have not gutted it, but it definitely does feel like there's security pins of some sort in there, so it'll be interesting to open it up and see what is actually in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this in a vise, and then we will start picking. Okay, now that we have this in a vise, we will begin picking. We will be using top of keyway tension and a southward slimline hook, which I find has just enough reach to get up those key pin chambers without messing too much with the warding. So we're going to go light tension, feel around for our first binder, pin 5, okay, got to click out of 5, pin 4 is binding, click out of 4, 3 feels okay. Two feels okay. One feels a little bound. We'll try him. Okay, I didn't hear a click, but I think we got him because now he's moving freely. Um, pin two is a little bound up. A little click out of two. That was one again. Now two is bound again. Okay, we got a click out of two and we're in a very tiny false set. I might have overset two, he was counter rotating. Okay, I just let go a little bit and he dropped back down, so let's try two again. Little click out of two, one is bound again. Okay, we got one up, two is good. Now three is bound, we got a click out of three and we're in a little false set again. Little counter rotation on three. Let's try to push him up, and we got an open. So I'm going to lock this back up because I do have a key right here. Uh, I'll show you that it does work, if I can get this closed. See, it does work. So we will put the lock down, get this vise out of the way, and we will gut it. I have not gutted this before, so it'll be interesting to see what's inside here. I'm guessing some sort of security pins. Um, feels like spools, possibly some serrated, but we'll see. So first thing I think we have to do is, it looks like there's a C-clip right here in between the tailpiece and the body. We will push that out first. I'm just going to use the butt of my pick. Okay, we got that out. Uh, let me actually just move this a little closer so you can get a better view. Of, um, the lock and the pins as I'm gutting. Okay, so we got the C-clip out, and now we have to push in this pin that is locking the tailpiece in place, and we'll just move the tailpiece slightly to keep that pin from popping back out. And then at this point, we will take our key, and we'll push out the core enough so that we can get that tailpiece out. Okay, so now we got the tailpiece out. Now what I'm going to do is push the core back out so I can get that pin and spring out so it doesn't shoot out on the other side. Okay, so we just got that pin that locks the tailpiece in place and it's spring. Okay, yep, it springs right there. And now we will just push the core out like any other core. And this is just a standard Schlage quick set plug follower. Okay, so let's start with the plug. In the first chamber, it is a steel standard key pin. I'm guessing for drill protection. It looks like there are two holes here for those um, drill rods, or whatever they're called, but they do look empty. So I think it was intended to have drill protection there, but this one does not. Um, this is a brass standard pin. Three is another brass standard pin. Four is another standard pin. 
and five is also standard. Doesn't look like there's anything special in here. There's no counter milling or threading. And uh, now let's go to the Bible. So I'm going to slowly push this out. In the first chamber we have a standard steel pin for drill protection. Let me see if I'm closer. Next one is, ooh, this is kind of neat. If I can get them out of there. Okay, this one is a kind of spool, looks almost like the Asa spools. Very cool. Pin three is another one of those spools. Pin four is another spool. And pin five, oops, come on. Pin five is also a spool. And then we'll just dump the springs, because why not? Looks like we're missing one. Or not. I am missing a spring. I'm gonna check in a second to see if it's just stuck in there. Okay, let's see. What? I do not know. Oh, it is in there, hold on. There we go. I don't know what was holding him in there, but there was a spring in there. But anyway, let's take a look close up. That is what we have inside. Definitely a pretty fun pick. It was actually my first Euro cylinder. I have to say those are a lot, a lot more secure than uh, say a standard front door lock you'd find in the States. Um, so yeah, a little jealous of these UK locks. But anyway, that is our video for today. I hope you did enjoy. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And please like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day.